host, everyone. Look at this beautiful crowd. Tonight, we honor the reason the world has a Vin Diesel. <laughs> Bruce is a real man's man. He told me numerous times not to hold back tonight. And it's been great getting to know you and your lovely family. And I, I see, uh, I met Rumor, your daughter. Hi, Rumor. I guess that's the name your mom gives you when she's not 100% sure who your father is. <laughs> Get a shot of that whole table. It's the beautiful circle of life, Bruce. Your family looks like all the villains you killed off in the Die Hard movies. <laughs> what a legend. Bruce Willis has been fighting terrorists since before they were Arab. <laughs> Bruce Willis is pro-gun, pro-flag, and pro-pisha. <laughs> Bruce Willis, you love your country so much, he once said that if the people wanted it, he might even run for president someday. I'd make fun of you for having political aspirations, but the last time I did that, the fucker actually became president. <laughs> All night, people are saying I look like you, but Sybil Shepherd looks like Bruce Jenner Willis. <laughs> And Lil Rel, Lil Rel looks like Bruce, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> but Bruce Willis, you, my friend, are a total original. How is it possible to look like a Nazi and a Holocaust victim? <laughs> you look like Sir Patrick Stewart if he operated a Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you a movie star? You look like a bouncer at a nursing home. <laughs> You're like Elmer Fudd if he hunted bad scripts instead of wascally wabbits. <laughs> this fucking guy. Bruce Willis wants an Oscar so fucking bad, he's slowly morphing into one. <laughs> It's crazy. You went from being Hollywood's leading man to Demi Moore looking at you and saying, you know what? I'd rather fuck the dumb guy from Dude, Where's My Car? <laughs> <laughs> but Bruce, we all wish you luck with your lawsuit against the Blue Man Group. <laughs> This is so much fun. I mean, Bruce is such a star. You've been in some of the most iconic scenes in cinema history. My favorite scene in Pulp Fiction, when you saved a guy from getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> hey, Dennis, at that point in the movie, were you like, wait, who's the bad guy again? <laughs> <laughs> of course, your most recent film was a big bomb, Death Wish. What a fucking stinker, Bruce. It looked like you did your own stunts and your own lighting, editing, and directing. <laughs> Woo! How about a hand for tonight's host, Joseph Boredom Levitt? <laughs> JGL! Joseph Gordon Levitt. The only three words more boring than gluten free cracker. Thanks for dressing up, Joseph. You look like a lesbian on the way to prom. <laughs> yeah. Joseph starred in Third Rock from the Sun, and Dennis Rodman smoked three rocks in front of his son. <laughs> yeah, why not? Give it up for our next Secretary of State, my man, Dennis Rodman. You think Kim Jong-un is a nice guy and he thinks you're Scotty Pippen. <laughs> My pal Lil Rel is here. So happy for you, buddy, so happy. Congrats on all your success and your newest film, Angry Birds 2. Good to see you're not selling out. 
What are you playing, Jim Crow? <laughs> Great to see Sybil Shepherd again. And just like most shepherds, Sybil hasn't worked much in the last two centuries. <laughs> Sybil had an affair with Elvis. How cool, man. Years after their affair, Sybil revealed that Elvis went down on you. Is that true? Yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Wow. You'd think a hound dog would have a better sense of smell. And speaking of moonlighting, Dom Herrera had to cancel two shifts at Macaroni Grill to be here. <laughs> Dom Herrera is what you look like right before you say, tomorrow I'm starting a juice cleanse. Right. Kevin Pollack, I love you, man, but that Christopher Walken impression is so old, Ashton Kutcher tried to marry it. <laughs> Love you, Kevin. Sit tight, you're gonna be big whenever Paul Giamatti dies. <laughs> Bruce. Yes. You've accomplished so much, buddy, but I think it will always be your blockbuster, Armageddon, that serves as the greatest metaphor for your career, because in the end, you got destroyed by the rock. <laughs> Us Jersey boys, are raised to have thick skin. So I knew you'd be a great sport tonight, and I wish you continued success, good health, and I can't wait to see your next project, Die Hard 6, Natural Causes. <laughs>